Gaffer, just quickly start on Ryan Cockle. What a week for him, all the media interest. How is he? Because obviously it's been a big week for him. Fatigue, I'm sure. He's very tired. I think his missus and the baby are doing great. I think that's the most important thing. I think Ryan has the easy side of the job, scoring goals and turning up at the hospital. Now everyone's great. It, it was a lovely story. I think it's had great media coverage, haven't it? Hasn't it? And uh, all doing well, so we're really pleased. And obviously that gets the media coverage, but Ryan, he played very well on Tuesday night as well, coming back in. You must have been delighted with him. I was just delighted with the team's response. I think, you know, you, you guys obviously do our media and you know sometimes when you get beat nowadays, it's just it, it, it's just going to another level of criticism and anger. There, it's not. I'm not on about Wigan, I'm on about football. You know, and every team's got to be allowed to have a spell of games, a period of time. You know, for us, the important thing was bouncing back not just Ryan, other lads coming to the team as well. But that's what the squad's about. I've always been a great believer that if we have success, we'll have it together. You know, come the end of the season, if we do get success, we don't remember individual teams. We we'll remember the success of the club. If we don't get success, it'll be the same. So, really pleased with how the lads responded. But I must say, it was expected. And how do you assess the challenge that Rotherham posed this weekend? Very good, very strong um, team. I watched them at Doncaster for the first time. I felt they were the better team and they should have won the game. Um, we've watched the game against Shrewsbury last week. For us, they were the only team that could win the game at the end. Obviously, the sending off had an influence on that. Um, but they, they looked and then they've got done by a sucker punch at the end. And good luck to Shrewsbury. So I genuinely think Rotherham are one of them teams that are just in that little pack hovering, but should have more points, deservedly more points than they've got. So I'm sure Paul and the staff will be of the same opinion, I would imagine. And, they, 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 they propose a formidable opponent tomorrow. Mm -hmm. For us, we're without Dan Byrne. What's going to be the situation there? How are we going to? Alex Bruce will come in for us, and you know we go over there tomorrow without Dan, and that's that's a huge disappointment. Not not just because he's not playing. You know, I just said then it's Dan's been a, a, a real good character for me since I come in the club and the rest of the staff. He's a leader by example. You know, he's a smashing lad. He's a great lad. Got such a good appetite for the game. Good trainer, and I'm sure I like Wigan fans. We're all very proud to have him at the club. So. Disappointed that he's not involved tomorrow, you know, but it gives Alex a chance to come in. You mentioned that about Dan. Ryan said some lovely stuff about Max Power in the week and how he's been really helpful towards him. It's great that you've got these lads about the place, you know, building that environment for us all to work in. I think that's key for everyone. You know, I've always been a believer in that, that work should be enjoyable, especially when we're lucky enough to be in football. For some reasons now, it gets lost on footballers and people in football. There's an arrogance about us, if you like, that think that makes us something that we shouldn't really be. You know, for us, from the town we're from, from the club we represent, you know, the least we can do is go on the pitch every day together as a group and do our best, and that's what you'll get tomorrow at Rotherham. And how's Nick Powell? Nick Sniff. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nick, Nick felt his hamstring last week. He uh, we had a tough weekend last week, Nick, with sickness and different stuff. Obviously, the hamstring hasn't helped. Do you know, we're, we're comfortable that it's not a damaged hamstring in relation to it being a, a longer term one. You know, there's a lot of fatigue in these lads now. We're training on every pitches every day. If you're one who plays the three games in a week, if you are. So we're going to monitor that. We don't think it's anything overly to worry about. You know, whether Saturday's game comes too quick, possibly will. You know, but certainly we'd be looking for the file game then to see Nick back and forth. And just finish on Sean McDonald, just how's he getting on? We've not spoke about him for Sean, a few weeks. Sean, Craig Morgan doing great. Both picking up the uh, rehabilitation. Really pleased with both lads. Both coming on really well. Hopefully we should have Christian Walton back in the building as well this week, so all good.